Folks are often a little hesitant to make their Google site public and share it, but it is not so hard at all. We're going to take a look at our Google site here. So there is a big blue button in the top corner that says publish. Now it doesn't hurt to click on this. You're just going to get some options. So when I click on publish, there's a couple things that we want to make sure we take a look at. First of all, in the web address box here, this is going to be the actual web address. So we want this to be as short and concise as possible. You can see right below here what my full web address will be, sites.google.com, and then it'll, it will be your domain address plus the piece that you have in the web address box. So we want to keep this as short as possible. So once you have that how you like it, you're going to want to click on manage. When you click on manage, you'll see a couple things here. If it's in a folder that's already shared with people like mine is, it automatically has some people shared with it. And these people here we can see are editors. There's also some things down at the bottom that we want to take a look at. The draft, we can have the draft restricted to only people who are able to edit it. Now, the most important piece that we want to look at is the published site right here. And right now you can see that the site is published with my school division and anyone who would click on the link could be a viewer. So let's take a look at how we can change this. If we change it to restricted, it means that the only people who can access this site are any of the people who are listed with access above. If we click on your school division, that would be quite a closed environment. So students could view other students, but remember that parents, for example, would not be able to view a student's work if you have it set to publish that way. The most useful way is to publish the site and make it public. And that means that anyone on the internet can find and open your site once it's published. If you click up on the top settings cog, you'll also want to make sure that you have taken a look here. Anyone that's an editor in this case, because the check mark is on, can publish change permissions and add new people. So if you want to lock it down a little bit more, you could unclick that. All right, then we're going to click done. It gives me kind of one last opportunity to change how my site looks. And it also gives me one more option here. I can choose whether or not to have public search engines display my site. I'm going to click publish. At the bottom, it'll tell me that my site has been successfully published. And now underneath publish, I have an option that says view published site. You'll notice that in the published site, if I am the editor with permission in the bottom right hand corner, I get an edit pencil. So from the published site, if I'm logged in or if I'm as listed as the owner, I can always go back and edit. And finally, at any time, you can unpublish your site or make changes.